Now we come to the heart of every tour, the menu. Under menu settings, we find our basic settings. Here we can configure the base color of the menu and the text. The transparency of the menu can also be adjusted. Should you not need any menu, you can also switch it off completely. With Open at Start, you can choose whether the menu will be displayed as open or collapsed, both on desktop and mobile. Looking for a compromise? Simply select Show for 2 seconds to draw the user's attention to the menu without leaving it permanently open. To further improve the user experience on mobile, we can use the next option to automatically collapse the menu when tags are clicked. Further down, you can change the text direction if needed, for example for Arabic or Hebrew. After completing the basic settings, we go back to the menu builder. The menu is made up of individual menu blocks whose order can be changed at any time. We can see one tab for each previously selected language. While building the menu, we can enter content for each language by hand or simply use the auto-translate feature in the base settings to automatically translate all of our content into the other languages. Let's now create the first block together. After the input mask has opened up, we see several tabs at the top. In each of these tabs, different types of content can be configured. On the far left, we see the Title Text tab, where we can enter a title, text and an address. Phone numbers and email addresses can also be inserted as links to allow users to directly call or send an email with just one click. At the bottom, we can enable the Google Maps view for the address we entered. Pro tip, by using HTML in the text field, you can implement custom fonts and colors. As the name suggests, Title Link allows us to add a link to the title in each selected language. Once again, we see the usual options for the opening mechanism. Same tab, pop-up and new tab. To finish off each block, we navigate to the Advanced Settings tab. There, we can pick an icon for our menu block as well as configure a text and background color and adjust the background transparency. Each menu block can be displayed as collapsed as well. Now we click on Save and our first menu block is done. Next, let's create a submenu. The submenu is primarily used to create a direct navigation. We start with a new menu block and once again enter a title. Then we navigate to Submenu and click on New again. We now have to copy the so-called deep links from the tour so we can insert them into the individual submenu items. To do this, we simply navigate to the desired position in the tour and press the U key on our keyboard. The deep link window then appears at the top right, from which we can copy the link to our exact location. A small tip, some browsers open a search box when pressing the U key. To avoid this, you can hold down the left mouse button and then press the U key. Next, we insert the deep link under Settings and select an opening mechanism. As a general rule, same tab is the best choice for direct navigation. For a faster workflow, I recommend copying all the necessary deep links from the tour before you create the submenu to avoid jumping back and forth. Then, we add a title for our submenu item in each selected language. If we want to use something other than deep links in the submenu, we also have the option to assign a different link for each language. This is not necessary for deep links, as the language is always based on the user system or browser language. Finally, we assign an icon to our submenu item. As usual, we can either select one from the list or upload one ourselves. 
We click on Save and continue creating more submenu items following the same principle. The finished submenu looks like this. Using the arrows on the left, we can adjust the order of the individual items. Now we move on to tag categories. If we previously created corresponding tag categories in the Tags tab, we now get the option to display the individual tags in each category as a menu block. Uncategorized tags can also be listed here. In this example, the different info points have been selected. This allows users to quickly access the desired info points in the tour. By enabling Tag Search, we can also add a search bar for the tags. As usual, we now add a title and an icon to our menu block. We continue with the tab Media. Here we can, for example, add a logo, upload one or several images, or link a panorama or video. When several images are uploaded, they can be viewed with a slider, like a picture gallery. If you want to include high-resolution images, you can also upload a compressed version of the image as a thumbnail and then store the full-resolution image as a media link. This speeds up the loading time of your tour. Videos are linked in the same way. First a thumbnail, then a video link. If no thumbnail is stored, one will be taken from the video link. The same principle applies to panoramas, the only difference being that you can select them directly from the list of previously uploaded panoramas. We finish off the menu block by selecting an opening mechanism, and we're done! Next, we go to Social Links. Here we can link our website or social media channels. Simply select an icon, adjust the color if necessary and add the corresponding link. Lastly, in the Skins tab, we can link other skins directly to the menu by selecting from the list of skins in our account. Thanks to the quick edit button on each menu block, we can easily make changes in the overview. Please don't forget saving!